Google was supposed to unveil this update at their upcoming I/O event, but instead they dropped it early, and it might have just crushed the competition. We're talking about the Gemini 2.5 Pro preview, which is the I/O edition. The update is so good that the model now ranks number one on the Web Dev Arena leaderboard. which is a benchmark for building aesthetic functional and web apps as per user preferences and the model ranks ahead of Claude's 3.7 Sonnet and OpenAI's O1 and even the O3 mini high models so let's break it down so this is a preview update of the already strong Gemini 2.5 Pro model but this update fixes two things that developers really care about it has fewer tool call failures and a stronger front end code generation and this is all not marketing talk right because even michael truel the ceo of cursor said that there's a significant reduction in failure to call tools with the new model and it just works better now and where can you use it you can use it in the gemini api via vertex ai and it's also available in google ai studio and also in the gemini app where you can use the canvas functionality to develop high quality front end apps and its pricing tier is the same as the 2.5 pro besides it also has the state of the art video understanding and it scores over 84% on the video mme benchmark and when it comes to a developer first user experience this model's got good taste i mean google says it leans towards aesthetic stability and leaderboards don't lie and on the previously mentioned web dev arena the gemini 2.5 pro preview sits at the top and at the ada polyglot coding benchmark it scored 72.9% beating the claude 3.7 sonnet and also openai's o1 reasoning model and openai's o3 mini high look only openai's o3 full model scored higher at 79.6% but what does this translate to the google's not just dominating across every theoretical benchmark and it's also winning where it counts for real world app developers and the timing seems to be immaculate Look this release just comes hours after OpenAI seems to have reached an agreement for a 3 billion dollar acquisition of Windsurf and also Cursor's parent company Anysphere just raised 900 million dollars backed by Thrive Capital and A160 and everyone's doubling down on the developer stack because now OpenAI has Codex CLI and Windsurf and Cursor is scaling faster than ever as usual and now Apple and Anthropic are coming together to build a whole new white coding platform The Xcode tool is just going to get a Claude boost and the Xcode platform is about to get a boost from Anthropic's Claude AI models. And now of course Gemini 2.5 Pro puts Google right back in the fight. And this isn't just a shiny update to Gemini, right? This is essentially Google sending a message. We're not chasing OpenAI, we're building where developers build. And it's if the early numbers hold true, Gemini 2.5 Pro might just become the default AI IDE for the next million developers. Let us know what you think in the comments below. For more insights just like this, like, follow, and subscribe to AIM TV. Because think AI, think AIM.